Salsa's a family, and today I'm coming back at you guys with another Madden 22 video on the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over a potentially unlimited coin glitch in Madden 22. Now, fellas, I won't lie to y'all. This is risky. This could potentially result in your account getting in some relatively serious trouble, but it's insane. I had to make a video on it. And without further ado, fellas, let's get straight into the video. In the background, you guys are watching a pack opening from a YouTuber named Detonator who also posts some Madden 22 stuff. I'll leave his channel linked in the description. I believe let's get started. Let's talk about this glitch. Now, essentially, this glitch was released on Twitter by an account called MuttLeaks. If you don't know what MuttLeaks is, essentially what their account will do is somehow they get into the back end of EA Sports, they can leak some of the cards that are coming, uh, they leak promos that are coming soon, and they leak this glitch. And here's kind of like the introductory post that they made. They said, we are aware this release is going to be extremely polarizing, but we expended every other possible option before arriving here. Uh, the implications of this bug are truly platform shattering and economy breaking. So this is kind of crazy uh, what's going on right here and then they kind of move on to talk about some of the potential risks of doing this glitch but i know what you guys want to hear uh, you want to hear how can you do this i do just want to say though this is very risky i don't recommend like everyone go in here and try this if you try this there's honestly like a relatively high probability uh, your account might get in trouble at the end of the video though uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to talk about the category of people that maybe it's not the worst idea to try this so without further ado this is the method i'm going to be showing you guys some clips of him doing this and kind of show you guys exactly the way this works uh, but basically this is only available on playstation and it's only available if you have your playstation 5 and playstation 4 so that's actually going to work for me i got my ps5 i haven't sold my ps4 i'm in a situation where i can do this it might work on xbox as well so you know what maybe you can try it but you are going to need two consoles so you're going to need the new edition console and the old edition console and you're going to have to have madden on both of them of course um it's pretty easy to do so i think if you have madden on ps5 you automatically get it on ps4 as well for free uh, so yeah, all you really need is both the consoles. I'm sure there's some of you guys that might not have that. If you do though, uh, that's kind of like the only requirement. Okay, after you guys do that, as you guys can see, you are gonna sign into MUT on both accounts. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your binder and you're gonna mark cards. So when they say mark cards, of course, that's gonna mean by clicking the triangle button. Basically what that's gonna do is it's gonna select the items in your binder and you're gonna select the same items on both consoles. So let's say for example, you open up a rookie premiere pack. Of course, the cards are gonna be showing on both consoles. You're on the same account. Uh, they're going to be showing on both consoles. All you'll do is you'll click triangle, you'll mark all the players, do it on both consoles, and then you are going to quick sell the cards at the exact same time on both consoles. So if you got two remotes, all you really got to do is click X at the same time when you're done with like quick selling your cards. And basically what's going to happen is you are going to be getting double the coins, uh, double the training, whatever it may be, you're going to be getting double the currency. So here's where this starts to get really, really powerful. And on the screen right here, I'm going to be showing you guys a video of him doing this and showing you guys exactly, I guess, like how how this looks right here. Uh, it's kind of crazy how this works. So yeah, in the background right here, as you guys can see, this is a video of him kind of doing the glitch, but here's where it gets kind of crazy, fellas. Let's say, for example, uh, you have LTD players. This is going to work with LTD cards, and LTD cards, as you know, uh, quick sell for 250k. So let's say, for example, you go into your auction block, and maybe you scoop up like a Michael Thomas 98 overall LTD. Uh, what you can do is you can quick sell that card on both of your accounts, and instead of quick selling the player uh, for the regular amount of coins, which as you guys know, would be 250k, you would instead be getting double and you'd be getting 500k this is how this could be like an unlimited coin glitch all you got to do is scoop up an ltd player quick sell it at the same time on both accounts and let's say for example you buy your ltd for 300k 300,000 coins that's fairly expensive for an ltd player but of course what you can then do is you can quick sell it on both accounts you're going to be getting 500k for doing so and instantly that's basically free coins or of course like as you guys could see right here what he decided to do is he decided to go in and he decided to scoop up a rising star pack that's what what's going on in the background um and that is going to be quick sold right here so buying the rising star player pack is going to be costing you how much is it it's about fifty-two thousand training you buy the rising star pack it doesn't really matter what you're going to get if you get the worst pull possible uh, you're fine you could just use this to generate training over and over because uh, when you quick sold the card you're going to be getting double so as he goes into his item binder right here of course he's on playstation 5 he's on playstation 4 at the same time uh quick sell jonathan greener so he's going to be marking it on both accounts and then basically all he's going to do is he's going to click 
X to quick sell the card at around the exact same time. So as you guys can see, the card should only be going for 52,000 training points, but instead he is going to be getting double that. He's going to be getting double the training. Originally, if you guys are looking at the bottom screen, which is what I was kind of looking at right there, the training is going to start by just giving him 52k. Then when he backs out to the main menu, it's going to be giving him another 52k. This is crazy, boys. This could make you unlimited training just like that. Really, all you'd have to do is go to your store, scoop up literally any pack. It doesn't matter which one you select, fellas. It's not going to make it difference if you skill a rising star pack sure you can go in there uh, you can quick sell whatever you get from it and you can get double the training open up another pack quick sell whatever you get on both accounts and just continue to repeat that and basically just churn out unlimited training it's kind of crazy and not only that but like i said before if you're looking to do this with ltd players it should also work i want to talk about some of the risks as well uh just a second in the video but if you guys want to do this with ltds if we take a look at like the ltd market in this game and maybe you want to scoop up like one of those nfl draft ltds those ones are on honestly pretty decent to get if we're looking at prices right here most of those cards are selling for like a fairly reasonable price those nfl draft pass players aren't too pricey so let's say you scoop up like for example the michael thomas ltd for 380k you could go in here uh, you could do that quick sell glitch and then you can end up getting 500k rinse and repeat just do it over and over again and make a ton of coins the letha o'neill if you want to get that card for maybe like 350k again you're quick selling it for 500 if you do it on both accounts so you can instantly uh, churn out unlimited coins but fellas, the risks of doing this are very, very high. I would say probably the majority of people that try this uh, will potentially end up getting banned. So here is what I would say uh, with regards to should you do this glitch? Should you maybe not touch it? Here's kind of what I want to say. Now, if you guys are playing Madden 22, uh, you're still playing online a fair bit. You're having a fun time on the game. You're enjoying Madden Ultimate Team. Do not try this glitch because if you do this glitch, I would say it's fairly likely uh, that you're probably going to end up getting banned. But here's where you can maybe consider doing it. Let's say, for example, uh, you're kind of done with Madden, all you really want to do is maybe scoop up some rookie premier players for the next game. What you can maybe do now, this is risky because EA Sports could console ban you for doing this. Now, console ban is going to mean your console is banned from playing Madden. I think that would potentially ban you for Madden 23. So, very, very risky to do this. Again, I don't really advise anyone to do it, but if you're in a situation where you're like, you know what, maybe I'll try this. If you're not planning on playing Madden 23, uh, you want to have some fun with Madden 22, maybe you try this. Maybe you just try and make a ton of coins just for fun and then build out like some crazy team in this game or maybe scoop up like all the rookie premier players whatever you really want to do uh, you can maybe try that right there here's what i would say is probably the most gray area when it comes to doing this glitch and i wish i could give you guys like concrete advice uh, the gray area is if you guys are kind of just looking to get rookie premieres you're done with this game but you do want to play the next game that's where it's kind of like the gray area because on one hand maybe you end up getting console banned by doing this now that sucks that means you can't play the next madden game uh, that's probably like the worst result possible but on the other hand, uh, maybe you get the coins quickly and you can just do the rookie premieres, uh, get all of them and be in a great spot for Madden 23. So that's kind of where I would say you guys probably want to use your own judgment when it comes to doing this. If you want to try it after hearing these risks, go ahead. Of course, I'm not going to make that decision for you, but I do just want to outline them. And I do just want to say, uh, think long term, boys. If you're worried uh, that maybe you won't be able to play in the next Madden game, it's probably not worth doing this. But if you're in a situation where like, you know what, I really want the rookie premieres so that I can be in a great spot for Madden 23 and I'm willing to take the risk you know what maybe you try it there i would say you're very very likely to get banned on madden 22 but if you're done with madden 22 you can get all those rookie barriers quickly right after you do this glitch and you're not console banned for madden 23 then it's not a terrible idea to try this